Welcome to this video. The sufficient and ideal solution to what threatens and matters to us fits in just one sentence. Regenerate or enrich forests and soils with sequestered carbon dioxide or natural CDR. We humans need to regenerate forests and soils voluntarily before our demise because of perfect storm, decimation, etc. does so, as was the case in all well-researched ice ages. Some could and probably will argue that forests and soils cannot be enriched or that it would cost too much, most probably in combination with that, it is only about carbon dioxide concentrations in the atmosphere. That would be misinformation at best, because scientists in the last decade have proven that the Amazon Amarins did enrich forests and soils, and such in the absence of a money economy, animal traction and tools, and thrived because of this. It made the Amazon region so fertile that they could modify the existing Amazon forest in the global cooling man-made forest with impressive biotic pump effect. It is proven to be today. Further, the enrichment of forest and soils is nothing else than the sequestering of 100 billion tons of carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere per year. If applied on the parts of the Amazon forest that are degenerated and in need of enrichment, sequestering of carbon dioxide, to maintain its structure and to avoid its collapse. No government money, compensating industry money or carbon credits would be needed, because if the enrichment was recognized, certified, and the method available to the public this enrichment would pay for itself. For now, see this as the Amerindians collecting and selling Brazil nuts for their support. This is what happened in the past when they exported to the Inca countries and the Amerindian population was still not systematically destroyed by the European conquest, etc. The collecting of Brazil nuts still supports certain tribes and Amazon forest regions today. The original, not enriched, Amazon forest would not have been able to support the proven dense population of the Amazon forest at the time, nor its uniquely enriched soils, Amazon Dark Earth or AD. That the general public is not aware of this is because consensus and the media is business-centered, and because they neglect all that has to do with the Amazon Amerindians and their lifestyle and culture that are proven to have thrived in the past, because business as usual has its eyes set on their land and most of the rich resources that they feature, because the Amerindian culture preserved them, that includes oil and uranium. We humans need to regenerate at least in certain regions of tropical and subtropical countries because the enrichment of forests and soils, sequestering of carbon, in these regions is critical to preventing further global climate collapse and is necessary to globally resolve the threats of climate challenges and the perfect storm. The enrichment of forests and soils in the aforementioned regions caused certain ice ages on more than one occasion in the past, and this for long periods of time. Coming epidemics and other elements of the perfect storm, all in exponential progress, will also be resolved. It may seem very difficult to believe, but in this and other videos we illustrate and provide proof of it, that something other than the climate, weather, isn't right, or that a perfect storm is already happening, became clear. This is because shortly after the pandemic, or rather its emergency, was declared over, Another much more deadly pandemic, or pandemics, is already being announced by the WHO itself and by Dr. Mike Ryan as the disease X and the emergence of several endemic diseases. A proposed solution of enrichment, action plan based on enriching agroforests, is extremely simple and infallible and individuals participating in this solution, even at their individual level will already help themselves on an individual level, saving time and money, and also benefiting themselves with important health benefits, such as improved immunity, cognitive function, and mental health. More autonomy and quality of life. Obviously, it would be ideal to solve the perfect storm if it were executed or implemented on a more collective and progressive level, and if there was a very clear action plan and it was available to all humans, preferably in multiple languages, like our videos on our various channels that are for free. Practicing and participating will also provide us humans with a happiness and unique sense of being human, including full and healthy human lives, and will prevent or alleviate certain mental health challenges and traumas that may arise during the ongoing conflicts and perfect storm. Knowing how humus is produced and what effect humus has on plants and soil would make it much easier for the general public to understand the solution and the action plan. Those who believed that the enrichment of forests, soils, and the biodiversity associated with them were the Amazonian Amerindians. They did not need to understand in the same way that modern humans need to understand, to practice and support, 
because for them the solution was, and still is kind of an ancestral, logic, and essential part of their culture. Probably the Amazon Amerindians participated in the collection of waste and in the production of humus, or even the production Terra Preta, do Indio, scientific name, Amazon Dark Earth or AD. Amazon Dark Earth has and keeps enormous amounts of carbon dioxide sequestered, and this also deep under the soil surface. Ideally, modern humans would be involved in this process of production and application of humus, or terra preta, and would have access to training videos for the production and application, as well as the production of seedlings, of humus and terra preta. If we want to preserve and improve the planet, we have to see things like they are. Carbon dioxide is a heat-trapping gas as well as a fertilizer, and that is one of the reasons why greenhouses purchase it and inject it in their greenhouses. If we choose for the planet that we all depend on and go for the here proposed action plan that grows and enrich the forests and soils that regulate our climate we also depend on, then the high carbon dioxide levels will be in deep soils and products. Carbon is an ideal building material and has more, also semiconductor, potential than silicon has. And instead of seeing it as a potential very serious problem right now, rightfully so, at some point in the future we would need to keep an eye. On those level for them not to drop too quickly and drastically that is obviously not the case now since we humans were reluctant to increase our knowledge and take the needed action since the club of rome was a hype and scientists were fully aware of the risks of too high levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere especially hanging over urbanized and industrialized regions the general public also was very aware because rooms and houses need to be ventilated and plants need to be put outside of rooms, because humans emit carbon dioxide all the time and plants do so at night. So carbon dioxide is a double-edged sword, but it is not evil. It is essential for life and existence. As examples, the same carbon dioxide molecule is kind of evil, threat for existence, in the atmosphere in the current situation, and it is beneficial in the soil in the current situation, so the needed action plan has to sequester it out of the atmosphere and enrich and fertilize agroforests and soils. As said, such an action plan would solve this climate challenge and changes, and the associated perfect storm as well, AMR. Possibly business as usual is somehow worried for you to, suddenly, see it as it really is especially the potential to solve the perfect storm, including the feared climate challenges. If you are interested in this action plan designed by nature and successfully executed by our human ancestors and a more recent experiment and research in which I participated, see the video below and our other channels with videos spoken in English, Portuguese, etc. Our videos are also subtitled in English and several other languages. This video is followed by a related video that provides the numbers expressed in billions of tons of carbon dioxide that enriched agroforests are capable of sequestering from the atmosphere through CDR. Thank you for watching this video.